In the module that will be shown here, one single input can be used to count the number of pulses. This input can be used to either count up, or count down. It can also be used, to count a train of pulses. In this setup, I am using an encoder that has 2000 pulses per revolution. I'm also using an FL4, R type module, supplied by Renu Electronics. Now, let's configure single phase input, to count pulses in high speed. The digital inputs X0 to X7, on the FL4, 0806R, can be used to count high speed pulses. In this setup, let's connect the encoder as shown in the schematic. The encoder is powered up, using a 24 volts DC supply. And the pulse output of the encoder, is connected to the input X0 of the FL4 module. Now, let's start with the software configuration of the input. Create a new project in the software. Choose the FL4 model, with the 0806R option. Expand the I.O. allocation subfolder. Then, select base. Double click on the model number. The I.O. allocation window, opens up. Click on configure. The configuration window for each channel, will be shown. Select the input, to which the encoder pulses will be read. In the high speed input enable control, if we select bit control, it will enable the input to start counting pulses. Here if power on is selected, it will start counting pulses, immediately when power is turned on. In configuration mode, select single phase input. There are three options for type of counting. Rising, falling, rising and falling. Let's select rising. Select the pulse counting direction, either up or down. The count can be reset in two ways, either internal or external. In external, the count will reset from the hardware input. In internal, the count will reset using the module's internal memory. Next, configure the rate functionality setting. Click on Rate Calculation checkbox. The Rate Span Register, is used to give the span in milliseconds in order to calculate the rate. If you intend to perform a specific action after preset is achieved, click on the checkbox. Set the preset value directly or by using memory. Actions can be of two types either to set or reset one output, or to execute a hardware interrupt logic. In the end, click on configure and then close. Check download, and click OK. Click on the icon for data window. Right click in data window to add variables. Then, click the filter next to add tags. Select tags that you wish to view. While selecting the tags, press and hold the control key on the keyboard. Since we have configured and connected the encoder to channel 1, let's select the HSC tags, of that particular channel.
Once all the tags are selected, click on OK. We now see a live list of the tag values in real time. Click on Go Online with Download icon. And click on Download. FlexiSoft will now start downloading the program into the FL4. Wait till the download finishes. And the device gets initialized. After the download is complete, open the data window. Make sure that your device is in the run mode. When the encoder starts turning, HSC register will start showing the count of pulses. The counts will go on increasing. We see that, the HSC preset bit gets set, when the encoder reaches the preset value of 3000. Here, it shows number of pulses counted, within the time that was defined. Here, it is set to 1 second. This shows frequency of pulses in Hertz. The counts can be reset, by toggling the HSC reset bit to true. Change it back to false, in order to start counting again. We are now successfully reading the pulses, sent out by the encoder, on the X0 input of the FL4. In the end click on modes, select, go offline. Thanks for watching this video. Please comment, like and share. For more videos, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for updates.